Dr. Gary Sykes, obstetrician at the Sydney Adventist Hospital, Wurunga. Yes. Well, a natural childbirth is uh, where the lady is able to deliver her baby spontaneously um, without um, uh, the need for any instrumentation at all, um, versus uh, what we call an operative vaginal delivery, where the uh, obstetrician has to facilitate the delivery of the baby. And that is uh, two options there. One is the use of forceps, and the other option is the use of the uh, suction cap. Uh, where the suction caps applied to the baby's head and deliveries uh, facilitated by that means. Um, things have changed a lot over the years. In the past, um, certainly I tended to do forceps, a lot of forceps, and we did a lot more difficult forceps than what we do today because suction caps were not as good as what they are today. Today, my preference is a suction cap uh, if an operative vaginal delivery. And the reason for that, it, it's less, uh, potentially less traumatic for the mother. Uh, the forceps are applied to the side of the head, so therefore the diameter uh, coming through the, uh, the, uh, you know, the stretching of the perineum is, is greater. Uh, with a suction cap, it's on top, so it doesn't actually increase the width. And quite often I can do a um, vacuum delivery um, without the need for um, uh, any, well, with, with an intact perineum. Uh, which is which is uh, means an excellent recovery uh, for the woman. Whereas forceps, you do tend to need to use an episi do an episiotomy as well, or cut in the perineum to avoid a nasty tear. An induction of labour is where we, where we artificially start the labour process, and there's different ways we can do that, and they vary according to the um, the situation, the findings, and. Um, so the various techniques they're used, but they're done for the majority of times because there's good clinical uh, indications. For instance, a woman goes significantly overdue, uh, this uh, problems such as preeclampsia, uh, diabetes, uh, concerns about the baby's growth and so on. So it's usually good clinical indication. But these days we're also finding that there's an increasing number of ladies who really don't want to go you know, past their due date, and I get uh, quite a number of requests by ladies, can I have my baby please? Um, they want to be induced um, so they don't have to uh, continue the pregnancy any longer than is uh, necessary. So that's a, a new uh, element that's um, arisen over more recent times uh, where it's uh, an induction because of the patient preference. Some ladies have been told they should not be induced because uh, induction is more painful. They'll have a more painful labour if they are induced. That's certainly not necessarily the case and should not be a reason why, if there's good clinical reasons why the pregnancy should be brought to an end, that we allow the pregnancy to continue. Uh, certainly, uh, inductions can be uncomfortable and certainly can be more painful, uh, but that's not necessarily going to be the case. And certainly I've seen many spontaneous labour where they do, uh, animal are very prolonged, and uh, they you know, certainly can be very painful. So while um, I would sympath be sympathetic to what the woman is saying, I do, not necessarily, I do not necessarily agree that's a reason why she should, not, she should not be induced. When I talk to my patients at the very first antenatal visit, I tell them I have two goals for their pregnancy. The first goal is a good outcome, and the second goal is a good experience. But I also tell them I have absolutely no idea whatsoever how their pregnancy, how their childbirth experience is going to go. It's totally, absolutely unpredictable. Yes, every woman hopes she's going to have a very straightforward pregnancy, a normal pregnancy, spontaneous labour, an easy labour, normal delivery and no stitches. That's fantastic. But sadly, that does not always occur. My goal is to uh, have the patient uh, working with me so we achieve that uh, goal of a successful outcome for the mother, a healthy mother, a healthy baby, with the minimum intervention that is necessary. For some women that mean a, may mean a caesarean section, for other women it may mean an induction, for other women it may mean an, 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 an operative vaginal delivery. But as long as we achieve that goal, I think that's, um, that's where we should, should be focused. And I want the woman to say to me at the end, that they've been very happy with my care. They've been very happy. So even though they end up with an emergency zero section, they understood why it had to happen, and they're very happy that uh, we made that choice. Mm -hmm.